Hey traders, this is Christian from Hertz Tribeca Trade Group with your end of day recap for Wednesday the 10th. And, um, you know, kind of a little bit of a choppy day once again, uh, but there was a little bit more um, to do. Some nice unusual option activity, nice aggressive call volume today. So we're going to go over a couple of those. I just want to go over quickly with the indices what we saw today and how we were able to profit. Another nice profitable day, even though the market's kind of flattish to up a little bit. Uh, so here's where the key levels were. Last night, S&P, uh, you know, we fell, the, the one hour chart will really give you some nice levels, especially when you're, if you're using the value areas, uh, like we do here. Uh, you know, you just can't, I, I don't know how, um, as traders say in, in, in our trading room, I don't know how you can trade without them because you know exactly where support is. So, and, and, and it's just, um, it happens so many times where that's as far as we go in terms of support and resistance. And I'll show you two examples of that. This morning, uh, we did see a little bit, I wouldn't even call it volatility, but a little bit of a move right into, um, you know, we were down about 15, 20 basis points. Where did we fall? Right up, right into support. So support for the week. We talked about how we opened up this week um, above the value area. And the, the the top of the value area was really nice support. You know, did we rage here? No, not really. But, you know, we could tell that's that today was not a breakdown day. Um, and then in small caps, which actually, which, which actually outperformed, I'm not even going to really talk about the Qs too much because uh, the Qs are really overbought between the three indices. So they were, they've not been underperforming the last couple of days. And I think that's just because they really got overbought a bit. So a lot of the FANG stocks, you know, I, I've, I talk about this over and over, but if you just trade the FANG stocks, um, you know, there's a lot other things that are going on because most of them really didn't move too much today because they're all a bit overbought. Um, and I think they're going to come back, but it kind of cycles around a bit. So we'll talk about what some of the things where we made a lot of money today. But let's go through small caps. You know, so what, what did they do today? You know, they found support yesterday right at the bottom of value. Again, I can't make this stuff up. I don't draw the, these drawings. Are, these lines are drawn for us automatically. But where we found support yesterday, right at the bottom of value. That's as far as we went at 137.66. Today, where, where did we, um, where were we not able to get over in the small caps? The top of value the market just doesn't want to break out yet um, you could see right around what was this uh, one o'clock today you have this big bar uh, price got above here and just didn't want to do it and then every hour thereafter for the rest of the afternoon uh, it was trying to climb above and it won't get above the top of resistance that just tells me that we're not it's not really a danger um, it just tells me that we're not ready to get above resistance so you know I very rarely I don't like to you know really um, try to sell our indicators our indicators sell themselves i mean if you can't make this up better than that in terms of resistance in iwm and support and and the s p and this happens all day long where we kind of use these to trade you know we don't like to really initiate positions too much when we've got resistance right in front of us we like to um, initiate positions positions when we have nice support like we did earlier in the week in IWM and today in S&P. So that really kind of gives you a nice benchmark for the day. So what did we see today? Um, you know, the semis really were um, bid very well. NVIDIA, which we, you kind of knew with the day, the day that NVIDIA had uh, last night and into today. So uh, AMD got a nice little move here and kind of, uh, you know, ended up again, I'm on, the, I'm on the hour bar, but retracing some of the move. If you look at the daily chart you can see that it's starting to get a little bit away away from the 200 day moving average real nice support for amd uh, i have a trade on for MI, uh, amd where i sold put spreads which is working out quite quite well right right below that 200 day moving average so um, nice trade there micron is looking pretty strong now um, completely uh, got over that downgrade a couple days ago from goldman so real nice move there abgo um, new 52 week high Broadcom, beautiful. Um, MRVL, which we got long yesterday, took a target in this thing. This thing, um, beautiful uh, signal yesterday in Marbell. Uh, today's trade, which we've been all over these Chinese internets, which continue. They they are really getting overbought, by the way. Um, new 50... New 52-week high for K-Web. I know some people, you know, we talked about this in the beginning of the day in the trading room. Some people, once they see unusual option activity or aggressive call activity, they're like, oh my God, you know, Baba, they're buying calls. Hey, we've been finding this stuff three or four days beforehand. So that's why myself, um, a couple of my colleagues here at Tribeca Trade Group, Pat, we do our, our homework 
and we find these setups. We get into these trades before we see the, the unusual option activity. So you see a whole bunch of people on Twitter kind of giving themselves high fives because they saw unusual option activity yesterday in BABA. Hey, we've been in BABA for like for over a week and had trades set up for that. So that's the value that we bring at Tribeca Trade Group. So just really excited that we caught this trend and a lot of these names. Um, so why, why? I didn't really hesitate when I saw this name that reported last night. Um, look at that bar for YY. So um, I actually made this trade into a um, I made this trade into a call spread. Let me go to my uh, trades blotter uh, for the day. But um, I put this trade on. I'm, I made this into the 50-60 call spread because some of these Chinese in the internet names they are very volatile. The implied volatility is really high, meaning the the uh, options are not cheap to get into. So I put this trade on for. Um, where is it? Da, 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 da. Uh, for a, a dollar forty-six, and we took targets all the way up to two bucks. I still have a portion of the trade on, so really, really nice trade in YY today. Um, another nice trade today. Uh, Delta, they bought a lot of calls. This one, I didn't actually take anything off, but I think Delta looks pretty good. I've been watching the airlines move higher. Plus, it's not a pl bad place to be in with uh, with Mr. Buffett. Um, so I'm in some Delta calls. Um, I actually structured that as a call spread too. Uh, names that we hit like home runs in, um, Chipotle. I've been adding to Chipotle basically in here. Um, huge day today, up seven bucks. So really, really nice. Uh, what else? Uh, we talked about broad. Broadcom was a big winner as well. Again, don't necessarily need um, unusual option activity for a lot of these trades. You know, they set up well on the charts. Um, Marvell, we talked about that one. Um, Vago, we took profits 250 uh, entry on a dollar 48. I mean, you know, the percentage gain in that is is just awesome. Um, out of, uh, by the way, we did put on uh, uh, Nvidia. We bought a, I bought a call spread and sold the put spread. So beautiful trade there, in Nvidia. I had a feeling it was going to rage. We took a target in Pen today. Um, I started a small position in in Baidu just as a starter for now. Um, HIG, uh, a lot of a lot of calls traded in this one. Um, so I don't really have a lot of financial exposure. Uh, let me just go to my trade blotter for the day, and you can see. Um, just a lot of call volume today and a lot of little things. We didn't even get to the retailers yet, but HIG, 10,000 of the June 50 calls. Um, I, I was able to hit a target in this trade at the end of the day. Uh, we also saw a little bit of uh, dip buying in Amazon today. We also saw a nice chunky play for Netflix as well, which also hit, I believe, a 52-week high today. So that was the one that... Uh, Speaking of the FANG stocks, and I said they didn't really move too much, uh, Netflix did move pretty well. The calls that went up were probably towards towards the middle of this run up here, but really nice day um, for Netflix. So don't let this the contracts uh, throw you off here. This was a pretty decent-sized trade. This was 600 of the December 170 calls for 1170 So that's no small trade. That's $790,000 in premium. Uh, what else do we see? We, then we saw a lot of activity in all the retailers. There was rumors that um, AEO approached uh, approach Abercrombie. So a lot of calls traded in AEO, a lot of calls traded in, in Abercrombie, a lot of calls traded in Urban today, which is also on the list. A lot of calls and a smaller amount of calls traded in Express. Really Urban and American uh, what is it, American Outfitters or Amer American Eagle? Uh, a lot of those calls traded today. NRG, there was um, rumors that CPN is getting taken over. Uh, NRG and CPN calls traded as well. Uh, we saw a little bit of Amgen calls today as well. And then a lot of energy calls. You know, you have to, some of these energy calls are really tricky. I did not trade ESV, but uh, there was a decent amount of calls that went up. It's just kind of a tricky name to play. Maybe something better to play in cash considering it's uh, in an $8 stock, but there was 8,000 contracts. Uh, there was also some some calls that, that went up in Devon, DVN. Uh, and, and a few uh, neighbors, I think, as well. Uh, neighbors, OAS, um, ATW. So, you know, there's some dip buying going on in energy. I really didn't participate too much in energy. Also, some OIH calls that went up. But, um, you know, I think you just want to, you know, we, we kind of talked about this after the market closed today in the trading room that, you know, you have to, uh, you know, this market is, is, is going to be very 
I, well, I don't know if it's going to be choppy going forward, but it's moving in a very, very small range. So I think you just really have to be patient, kind of add things, you know, start positions, but don't start them. Uh, what I've been doing anyway is putting on positions, but not huge positions. And then if we get a little bit of a dip where the market's down 20 or 30 basis points, you add to it. Um, and then you end up taking it off like I did in Chipotle. Um, you know, Chipotle, my average cost basis where I added a couple positions there was... Um, Oh, this should be in here someplace. Uh, CMG, I don't see it actually. Uh, what if, yeah, so my average cost base was around 399, um, and I didn't start there. That that was my average cost base, so so a real nice uh, target there. So um, that's how we've been trading, and and we've been trading extremely successfully in this choppy market. Um, so you know we could talk more uh, if you're in our trading room, choppycuttradegroup.com. Check us out. Sign up for half off the first month. And um, you could uh, you could participate in, in all the trades that we're doing and getting into these trades before you see the aggressive call activity uh, by doing homework and research, which is what we do on a daily basis. Have a great night. See you tomorrow morning. Thank you.